Here is Nusita's weekly forecast for the expected post activities in the realm of software quality on social media channels in week 29 of 2025. Our analysis is based on the social media post data from LinkedIn, YouTube, X, and other internet sources released last week, which revealed dynamic daily changes. I'll leverage the provided web results, which cover software quality trends for 2025, and combine them with logical extrapolation of ongoing conversations in the tech community. The ranking is based on the prominence of topics in recent publications, their relevance to current software quality challenges, and their potential for engagement on the mentioned platforms. Each topic's ranking reflects its immediacy, impact, and discussion volume, with reasons for placement and a forecast for future trends included. So, what will be the top 10 hot topics this week? Buckle up and let's start the countdown. 10. Shift Left Testing My reason for ranking, Shift Left Testing, which integrates quality assurance early in the software development lifecycle, SDLC, is a recurring topic in software quality discussions. It ranks at 10 because, while still highly relevant, it's a more established practice compared to newer trends like AI-driven testing. Recent blog posts, such as those from Edureka, highlight their importance in embedding quality from the start, with automation and testing markets growing rapidly in regions like Asia-Pacific. On social media platforms, developers and QA professionals share insights on how shift-left reduces defects and accelerates delivery, though it's less buzzworthy than emerging tech like generative AI. My advice? To implement shift-left testing effectively, Integrate automated testing tools, e.g. Selenium, Junit, into your CI-CD pipelines from the initial coding phase. Encourage collaboration between developers and QA teams using tools like Jira or Azure DevOps to align on requirements early. Prioritize unit and integration tests over end-to-end -end tests to catch issues before they escalate. Regularly train developers on testing best practices to foster a quality-first mindset. My forecast. Shift left testing will remain a staple in 2025 and 2026, but its focus will shift toward AI enhanced shift left approaches. Expect tools that use machine learning to predict defect prone code areas early in the SDLC, reducing manual effort. Integration with low code platforms will also make shift left accessible to non technical teams, broadening its adoption. 9. Performance testing for scalability. My reason for ranking. Performance testing to ensure software scalability is gaining traction as cloud-native applications and microservices dominate. Blogs like Qualitatum's emphasize their role in handling high user loads, especially for SaaS platforms. On social media, discussions often focus on tools like JMeter and LoadRunner, reflecting a steady but not explosive interest. It ranks at 9 due to its critical but niche focus within software quality, overshadowed by flashier topics like AI and security. My advice? Invest in performance testing tools that simulate real-world traffic, such as LoadRunner, NeoLoad, Gatling, or Locust, and integrate them into your CI-CD pipeline. Focus on stress, load, and endurance testing to identify bottlenecks in distributed systems. Use cloud-based testing platforms like AWS Device Farm for scalability and cost efficiency. Monitor key metrics like response time, throughput, and error rates to ensure robust performance under peak loads. My forecast? By 2025-2026, performance testing will increasingly leverage AI to predict scalability issues based on usage patterns. The rise of edge computing will drive demand for localized performance testing, ensuring low latency experiences for IoT and 5G applications. 8. Test Automation Frameworks My reason for ranking Test automation frameworks, e.g. Selenium, Cypress, Robot Framework, are a hot topic due to their role in speeding up testing cycles. Edureka notes that automation testing is a growing career field, with high demand for certified professionals. On social media, Developers share updates on framework advancements, like Cypress's improved UI testing capabilities. It ranks at 8 because, while essential, it's a mature topic with steady, rather than groundbreaking buzz. My advice? Choose a test automation framework that aligns with your tech stack, 
Selenium for web apps, Appium for mobile, or Cypress for modern JavaScript frameworks. Modularize test scripts to improve maintainability and reuse. Integrate with CI-CD tools like Jenkins or GitHub Actions for continuous testing. Regularly update frameworks to leverage new features and ensure compatibility with evolving browser standards. My forecast. In 2025 and 2026, test automation frameworks will integrate more tightly with AI and machine learning, enabling self-healing tests that adapt to UI changes. Expect frameworks to support testing for emerging tech like AR, VR, and Web3 applications, with a focus on cross-platform compatibility. 7. Usability Testing for User-Centric Design My reason for ranking. Usability testing, ensuring software is intuitive and user-friendly, is increasingly discussed as brands prioritize customer experience. Blogs like Qualitatum highlight their role in cross-platform compatibility and user satisfaction. On social media, UX designers and QA professionals share case studies on tools like user testing and look back. It ranks at seven due to its growing but not dominant presence compared to security or AI topics. My advice, conduct usability testing early and often using real users or personas to validate UI UX designs. Use tools like Hotjar for heat maps and session recordings to identify friction points. Incorporate accessibility testing, e.g., WCAG compliance to ensure inclusiveness. Iterate based on user feedback and A-B test UI changes to optimize engagement. My forecast, usability testing will evolve in 2025-2026 to include AI-driven sentiment analysis of user interactions, predicting satisfaction based on behavioral data, testing for immersive interfaces, e.g. metaverse, AR, VR, will become a key focus as these technologies gain traction. Six, continuous testing in DevOps. My reason for ranking, continuous testing integral to DevOps pipelines is widely discussed for enabling faster releases without sacrificing quality. Sources like Qualitatum emphasize their role in CI-CD environments. On social media, DevOps engineers share tips on tools like GitLab CI and Circle CI, making it a consistent topic. It ranks at six because it's a critical enabler, but less trendy than AI or cybersecurity. My advice, embed continuous testing in your DevOps pipeline using tools like Jenkins, GitLab, or Azure pipelines. Automate regression, integration, and performance tests to run on every code commit. Use containerized environments, e.g. Docker, for consistent test setups. Monitor test results in real time with dashboards like Grafana to catch issues early. My forecast. By 2025-2026, continuous testing will leverage AI to prioritize test cases based on code changes and risk profiles. Integration with serverless architectures and Kubernetes will drive adoption ensuring seamless testing for cloud-native applications. 5. Quality Assurance for Low-Code, No-Code Platforms My reason for ranking, the rise of low-code, no-code platforms, e.g. OutSystems, Mendix, has sparked discussions on ensuring quality in citizen development. Blogs highlight the need for QA in these environments, as non-technical users create apps. On social media, QA professionals discuss challenges like validating auto-generated code. It ranks at five due to its emerging relevance amid democratized development. My advice, implement automated testing tools tailored for low-code platforms, such as AskUI, Testum, or Mabel, to validate workflows and integrations. Establish governance frameworks to ensure citizen developers follow QA best practices. Use visual testing tools to verify UI consistency across auto-generated apps. Train non-technical users on basic testing principles to maintain quality. My forecast. In 2025-2026, QA for low-code, no-code platforms will grow as these tools expand in enterprises. AI-driven testing tools will simplify validation for non-technical users and standardized QA frameworks for low-code apps will emerge to address scalability and security concerns. Four, API testing for microservices. My reason for ranking, 
As microservices architectures dominate, API testing is critical to ensure seamless communication between services. Blogs like ReadWrite discuss API testing's role in IoT and FinTech. On social media, developers share tools like Postman and SOAP UI, reflecting a strong interest. It ranks at four due to its centrality in modern architecture and frequent mentions. My advice? Use API testing tools like Postman, Rest Assured, or Newman to validate endpoints for functionality, performance, and security. Automate API tests in CI-CD pipelines to catch issues early. Focus on contract testing, e.g. PACT, to ensure compatibility between microservices. Monitor API performance in production using tools like New Relic to detect latency issues. My forecast. API testing will remain critical in 2025-2026, with a shift toward AI-driven test generation for complex APIs. The rise of GraphQL and event-driven architectures will drive demand for specialized testing tools, particularly for real-time and asynchronous systems. 3. Security Testing and DevSecOps My reason for ranking, security testing integrated into DevSecOps is a top priority due to rising cyber threats. Edgerica notes 3.5 million unfilled cybersecurity jobs by 2025, underscoring demand. On social media, discussions focus on tools like OASP, Zap, and SNCC, with frequent mentions of vulnerabilities like SQL injection. It ranks at three due to its critical importance and widespread attention. My advice, integrate security testing tools like Burp Suite or Fortify into your DevSecOps pipeline to scan for vulnerabilities early. Conduct regular penetration testing and code reviews to identify weaknesses. Use threat modeling to prioritize risks and implement secure coding practices. Train developers on OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities to reduce security debt. My forecast. In 2025-2026, security testing will increasingly use AI to detect zero-day vulnerabilities and predict attack vectors. Quantum computing advancements will drive demand for post-quantum cryptography testing, ensuring software resilience against future threats. 2. AI-Driven Testing and Generative AI My reason for ranking. AI-driven testing, including generative AI for test case creation, is a major trend. Edureka highlights generative AI's growth, with tools like ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot transforming testing. On social media, QA professionals share excitement about AI tools like AskUI, Testim, and Mabel, which automate test generation. It ranks at two due to its transformative potential and high engagement across platforms. My advice, adopt AI-driven testing tools like AskUI, Testim, Mabel, or Appla tools to automate test case generation and maintenance. Use AI to analyze test results and prioritize high-risk areas. Combine AI with human oversight to validate complex scenarios, ensuring accuracy. Experiment with generative AI for creating test data or simulating user behavior to enhance coverage. My forecast, AI-driven testing will dominate in 2025-2026, with generative AI creating more sophisticated test scenarios for edge cases. Integration with large language models, LLMs, will enable natural language-based test scripting making testing accessible to non-technical stakeholders. 1. Software Quality Metrics and Data-Driven QA My reason for ranking, Software Quality Metrics, e.g. Defect Density, Test Coverage, MTTR, are the top topic due to their role in quantifying QA effectiveness. Blogs like Qualitatum emphasize metrics for tracking testing assets, while social media discussions highlight tools like SonarCube and Datadog. This topic ranks at one because it underpins all other QA efforts, driving data-informed decisions and aligning with business goals. My advice? Define clear quality metrics aligned with business objectives, such as defect escape rate, code coverage, and user satisfaction scores. Use tools like SonarCube or TestRail to track metrics in real time. Establish dashboards to visualize QA performance and share insights with stakeholders. Regularly review metrics to identify trends and optimize testing processes. My forecast. In 2025-2026, software quality metrics will evolve with AI-driven analytics, 
predicting quality risks based on historical data. Metrics will expand to include user experience indicators, like session abandonment rates, and sustainability metrics, such as energy efficiency of software, reflecting broader industry trends. My forecast for emerging topics in 2025 and 2026. Looking ahead, several trends are poised to shape software quality discussions. One, quantum software testing. As quantum computing matures, testing quantum algorithms will emerge as a niche but growing field. Tools for simulating quantum environments will gain traction, driven by advancements in quantum hardware. Two, sustainability in software. Quality, with sustainable tech solutions gaining attention, e.g., Edureka's mention of eco-friendly tech, QA will focus on optimizing software for energy efficiency, particularly for AI and cloud workloads. Three, testing for Web3 and blockchain. The rise of decentralized applications will drive demand for testing smart contracts and blockchain-based systems, with tools like Truffle and Hardhat becoming more prominent. Four, AI ethics and bias testing. As AI adoption grows, testing for ethical issues and biases in AI models will become critical, especially in regulated industries like healthcare and finance. Five, immersive tech testing, AR, VR, metaverse. With platforms like Snap AR advancing, e.g. Lens Studio updates, testing for immersive interfaces will surge, focusing on performance, usability, and cross-device compatibility. Hopefully this video gives you additional insights. What do you think about the hot topics this week? Write your views in the comments section below. In terms of further questions, feel free to write to us. We will analyze all important internet channels and release our analysis report every Monday. Follow or subscribe to this channel to stay up to date and know more than your competitors. Happy testing and see you next time.